The internet was a mistake. Ugh. God, why have you cursed my timeline with this latest clout chasing moron? Ha <laughs> ah, ah. It's worse. It's a thousand times worse than the OK Boomer Girl. And TikTok was a mistake. No, seriously, it was a mistake. It is the platform that highlights the lowest IQ, the absolute worst in humanity, and it should be removed from the planet immediately. That's right, an Instagram influencer. If anyone calls themselves an influencer, I immediately un I am immediately uninterested in anything, and I mean anything they have to say, because they don't have anything to offer. If your title is influencer, that just means that you sit there and try to look pretty for the two to three years that you're possibly relevant. Last night, I was inundated with tweets about Instagram influencer, not going to say your name, licking an airplane toilet for the Koof Challenge. Please retweet this so people can see how properly th be sanitary on an airplane, she said. Instagram model who cares filmed herself licking an airplane toilet seat as part of the stupid idiot challenge, insider reports. The young woman later claimed that rich blonde bees can't get the coof. Like any other Instagram celebrity, moron, the moron's page on social media is filled almost exclusively with photos of her dumb self in swimwear, as well as selfies and the occasional spicy shot. Her Twitter feed is similar, filled with selfie, spicy pictures, and other posts one would expect from such a niche moron. It also contains her thoughts on various issues. Wow, I can't wait to see. <laughs> Over the weekend, the moron challenge was apparently on the young woman's mind. In the tweet, she showed herself demonstrating how little she's concerned about the coof when she licked an airplane toilet seat. That's right. And the moron herself does in fact lick, wow, so stunning and moronic. Like, this is, this is, this is going to be on the internet forever. Not long after it was posted, the tweet generated plenty of disgust on Twitter in a series of follow-up tweets. Ava not only addressed the disgust she generated, but, and her users, but she also dis seemed to deflect concerns that she might get sick. As for the sanitariness of putting one's tongue on a toilet seat, she used uh, one used by strangers and cleaned by strangers. Ava made the comparison to eating a dude's butt. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. How is this different? Well, if that dude's butt is a thousand butts at once, at no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. And you don't know if those butts have been wiped. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I suppose it's the same thing. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. Regarding whether or not she put herself at risk, I don't care. She says, uh, for one, she claims the virus can't get her because she uses Facebook. Although she didn't specify what the connection is. She also noted that hot blondes can recover from anything. Just like the gays, rich blondes are immune. Hey there, I don't want to come between you. 
or do I? <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. She also noted that her mother was concerned, but admitted she only did it for the clout. Uh, hello? Everybody knows that. And this is exactly the problem, because the masses are stupid. Individuals can often be very smart or very stupid, but when you put them in a group and you incentivize them with likes and retweets, you get all sorts of stuff like this. This is just some of what TikTok has spawned. The choking challenge. Anything that involves choking a friend or yourself to near unconsciousness is unsurprisingly ill-advised. Considering the very idea behind the choking challenge, it's safe to say that anyone and everyone should steer clear of this particular trend. This challenge, in one form or another, has been around for a long time. Teams have been partially strangling themselves for decades just to feel the brief euphoria that follows that first desperate gasp of air. The game ebbs and flows in terms of popularity, but it's reached its zenith in 2017. Since then, the dangerous challenge has cropped up on various social media platforms, including TikTok. How about the condom challenge? Another challenge that can lead to asphyxiation, the condom challenge hasn't been around nearly as long as the choking one. The dangerous TikTok challenge requires a condom, some water, and two willing participants. How about the fire challenge? You might be wondering why anyone would participate in something called the fire challenge. Oh no, I don't. It's 2020. I don't, I don't question it. I know, it's internet morons. Clearly, you don't remember being a teenager. The most common among younger users, the fire challenge is exactly as dangerous as it sounds, which has in no way stopped it, stopped people from attempting it. I just got out of the hospital last night, and uh, they're bad. They're really bad, man. Participants douse a portion of their body, usually the chest or hands, with a flammable liquid. They then light it up and record the effects, which often lead to first and second degree burns. Videos of badly burned teenagers are all over the web, thanks to particular viral challenge. How about the skull breaker challenge? This is a fresh one that seems almost completely ridiculous. The challenge has already proven itself immensely dangerous after a Venezuelan teen ended up in the ICU. You need at least three people to perform this. All stand in a row in front of a camera and, of course, jump. The two on either side jump first simultaneously, followed by the person in the center. When the person on the center's feet leave the ground, their companions knock the feet from out underneath them. This typically leads to the middle person crashing backwards into the ground, often striking their head in the process. It's in the name of the game. You literally break your skull. How about the outlet challenge? The penny, get up. I'm scared. To perform this extremely inadvisable outlet challenge, people use a phone charger partially plugged into the wall. Then they touch a penny to the exposed prongs, creating a large spark. Here. No, 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 no. No, no, From the top. From the top. The top. The challenge has already caused property damage at a high school in Massachusetts. Thankfully, the teens weren't injured. They should have been. The hot water challenge. In fact, led to an eight-year-old girl dying. The snorting challenge. I mean, are people... Look, what happened to just eating hot stuff, right? The pass-out challenge. Concussion challenge. Are you kidding me? Like, this is the, these are the same kids that are doing the Tide Pod challenge. And who can, who can forget? Who can forget? Yeah, the cinnamon challenge. Okay, this is fun. Why does, the, why does the internet ruin everything? It started, I think, with my distaste for TikTok with this type of thing, where these idiots were licking ice cream and then putting it back into the freezer. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Hurry, hurry, up, hurry up. Well, guess what? A bunch of those morons rightfully went to jail. Here was a Texas man who filmed himself licking a tub of ice cream in Walmart, then putting it back in the freezer, was put in jail for 30 days. It's almost like these things have some sort of actual crime attached to them, that people who share this stuff are dumb, people who do this stuff are dumb. And sorry to say, 
moron uh, influencer. You got defeated. You were actually beat, uh, I think, by this Smeagol. This Smeagol-looking female. God. I can only assume R. Kelly is calling her right now as apparently she's his dream girl. You killing me, man! Tic Tac was a mistake. Youth was a mistake. I'm signing off the internet for the day.